Hello, it's good to have you back here with me. Or good evening, good morning, good afternoon, uh, whenever. Well, first idiom for today is mm, to take apart. That means to dissemble, not assemble, dissemble, this. Assemble, I would say, I'm sorry, not disassemble. Disassemble. Or to separate the different parts of an object or um, the, the machine or the mechanism thing. For example, um, often small children uh, try taking a clock or radio apart, then they don't know how to put them back together again. Do you have such an experience, you know? <laughs> or uh, jigsaw puzzles. Some of them have more than 100 pieces or even 500 or 1,000 pieces. And I remember when I was in the hospital, uh, you know, a few people gave me um, these puzzles. And uh, until then, I never was interested in it. But, uh, you know, there was nothing to do in the hospital day after day after day after day. So then I had a small table, uh, which is over the table. Uh, the hospital bed that's where i have my hospital meal but it's pretty narrow and along from you know from my left to right the side way and i would try doing the uh, assembling the jigsaw puzzle but then the nurse would carry uh my meal so i'm gonna have to take them apart to put in the box again and i just never completed any of the puzzles um then when you repeat doing that sooner or later some of the pieces are missing that you realize and that was a true story so are you good at assembling or making or completing the jigsaw puzzles, it is more difficult to put them together than taking them apart, of course. Okay, next sentence uh, idiom is mm, to, uh, to take apart what we finished. For example, I could never have taking my smartphone apart because I'm afraid uh, those phones are pretty expensive so next idiom to be better off it means uh, to be in the more favorite or well, favorable I would say or better condition perhaps circumstances or situations right for example, you will be much better off taking my class than going to XX school to study English, okay? Uh -huh. Or, mm, all right, uh, if you have to take so much supplement, I would say that you'd be better off seeing a doctor and prescribe the, the medicine for you. That's my opinion again, of course. Okay, the next idiom is um, to be well off. That means to be rich. Well, well to do you know, things. For example, uh, 
my big sister has been well off since her stepfather died because her stepfather had the uh you know oil well in texas so lucky huh okay another one this is gonna be the last sentence for today's idioms um a good friend of mine uh was once well off because he worked for a very famous and wealthy and a good company which paid him very well and he bought a very nice big house in a very nice area and uh, beautiful i mean his beautiful uh wife and really really pretty girls he had in the big house but when he lost his job not only he lost his house but also his family as well sad isn't it but sometimes it happens today's words one is violent for example well it means acting or down with i would say strong or sometimes rough force do you remember a few months ago even the last year in the united states of america the police acted so violently that too many especially black men were killed and uh, that kind of things shouldn't happen but uh, they happened um uh, it, that's also very sad uh, another sentence let's say okay carefully and really carefully i approached a violent dog uh that my neighbor had mm, because i did not want to get bitten by that violent dog Rawr! No? okay the next word is also pretty related word which is a uh, brutal that means okay coarse or savage like uh, brute or cruel for example okay mm, the brutality of the police killed the innocent suspect too many times and still continue such act in the united states the world know about mm -hmm. sad too okay another brutal for example all i remember the brutal gymnastic coaches well who were my seniors at high school uh almost destroy my career as a gymnast mm, because uh they were so brutal and uh, sometimes they try to hurt me uh purposely uh sometimes it happens when your teammate is better than you especially who is younger that case where i was and uh, you know coaches really were too busy taking care of us so my ju uh, seniors uh they are a little bit older than i in the same school and they are sort of like uh training me and uh, if i did so well they don't they didn't like that so they try uh to destroy my body by force so that's very brutal that's all for today. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.